And right now you're filling up the gas tank, huh? That's right. Is it regular unleaded or? <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Yeah. A lot of these old engines won't run on that ethanol crap. No, they won't, huh? No. Some of the old tractors won't run good on ethanol. It has to be filled to that to that height for best fuel drop. Hmm. Otherwise, it won't. It won't. Won't work right. All right. Explain this engine real quick to the camera. Well, it's. It runs on a Model T buzz coil and six volt battery. The original one had a tungsten piece through the sill or to, through the head, and another piece on the on the piston, and he, he clamp, uh, connected to the light socket, and he clamped it on the kitchen desk, and that's how the engine came to life then. Now I just threw my switch on for safety so I could turn it off. And then you just, you just got to get the right fuel droplets. Too much is, they'll fly out. Too little, it don't work. Smoke it up in here. Want me to turn it off? No, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Brings back memories that puttering. Henry Ford's first engine. That's right. <laughs> how long did this take you to build? Well, did you I, buy it or how'd it go? It, it took within a year. A little off and on work on it, you know. And, and then the day before the show, I finally got together of the car show. At 6 o'clock, the day of the car show, I finally got it running. How fast does this go, miles per hour wise? Oh, if 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 it was on a I, I, it go wouldn't, kart, it wouldn't power or anything. It's not enough horsepower to power or nothing. Built strictly for the dynamics of it, huh? Yes. 